active at Bombers of Kenya at a time when the country is seeking to implement the new constitution and prepare for election under fresh dispensation. The event attracted governors, members of parliament, members of the county assembly, among others, and Masharia has the details. As it clocked 9 a.m., governors, senators, members of parliament started to make their way at the 6,000 bombers of Kenya Arena. It is at this same arena that the 2010 constitution was also born. At 9.30, the arena was full to capacity. One could not find space to move an inch. Delegates, Prime Ministers, members of the Cabinet, graced the occasion. In attendance was Tanzania Foreign Minister Palamagamba Kabundi, foreign delegation just to mention a few. Both men and women dressed for the occasion, from well-ironed suits and dresses to President Uru Kenyatta's casual look. Before the event kicked off, Delegates had to start with the national anthem. One by one, politicians took to the podium to express their stand on the report. Your Excellency, it would be a lie for me to leave this stage without saying that this program has been good to leave other people who have different opinions to speak what they want to say. And so, whether you need, whether you need, I must say. When Kerito Senator was handed the microphone, he went ballistic on the manner in which the event was conducted. His sentiments sparking a negative reaction from the public. Your Excellency, we will prioritize not the position for the big boys but for the opportunities for the young people, for the tea farmer, for the coffee farmer, Mr. Excellency, for every citizen of this republic to have an opportunity. The master of ceremony was forced to abandon his self-proclaimed position for sanity. But Your Excellency, because of your leadership, I am proud to say I'm the majority leader in the Senate. Five hours after the event was over, politicians made their way out of the arena, many of them avoiding to speak about the report. It is a report that has brought together different members of the political class, but if they'll still remain solid after the launching, still remains a mystery. Anne Masharia Bomas of Kenya, Nairobi.